really low. Uh, I don't know if I got any more, but two more. The lobby's open now. I'll probably just start it with the small numbers if I have to, but... The problem with trying to do something like Can't this you a fucking is you need people that have Hope a Switch, had a wonderful holiday. have Mario Kart 8, have you ever and pay Dragon for the Ball online Rikers? service. So basically, I'm just looking for people that play Smash Online and also happen to own Mario Kart 8. Didn't you get a Chick-fil-A calendar last year? Yeah, that was from a different aunt and uncle, but at least they remembered to get me something. I think they actually ended... The ones that gave me a Chick-fil-A calendar last year at least gave me like $20 offhanded. Not that I mind. Also, I made a second me, but it still has my scruffy one. Not that I'm complaining. I think we're gonna have to do a three-man match. You can thank Nintendo's online service for killing my viewer games. I don't care. I'll take all two of you down. Don't use tilt controls. Oh, there's more. They were just hiding beyond the horizon. I'm seeing if I can buy MK. I mean, go for it. I feel like download-wise, it would take a while. So I guess Nintendo usually has a pretty decent... You know, let's do random. Nintendo has a pretty decent track of the uh, download speeds. Your me looks like Dave Grohl. I wish I looked like Dave Grohl. That's why I'm growing my hair out. That's what I'm working towards. Nintendo are gods at optimizing file size? Yeah, but that's not because they're inherently talented. It's because they have very limited file size on their cartridges. It's, just a, it's a reason Dark Souls Remastered was so low quality on release before you download the patch. Because they had to compress everything to hell to fit like the 8 gigabytes that they give you. Are they really? I mean, I guess they are good at it. Shit. Play it slow for now. I thought I have a choice. Do you plan to learn Italian? Mio Dio Cazzo. Oh, Mio Dio Cazzo. That's all I know. I think it means... Oh my god, fuck. Because I looked it up the other day. I think if you put a gun to my head and force me to learn a second language, I'd choose Italian. If only because... I guess it's like one of the few languages I think sounds cool. And I have enough familial backing of it. I could kind of- I could kind of give away- get away with having a reason. My god, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, anyone can join. So you'll have to add me on Switch. Oh, you missed, Starch. Play like going for that one. Dude, I'm getting hella shrooms. Oh, come on. You have to learn Italian to take music? How does that work? The connected courses? I guess, like, maybe if you have a course on Italian music. You know what? I feel like being a dick. I said at the beginning of this race, I'm getting everyone's hopes up first. See? Fourth place. They'll think I'm out of the running. You know, I blue-bombed Lonk, and he's still... 
still crash the course. Damn. Listening to your mixtape when I saw you tweet. Great. Saw the Thank you. Tweet. Sure thing. Thanks so much. So when I went in, when what I went... did you get for Saturnalia? Saturnalia. I assume you mean Christmas. I'll get back to that. Uh, I drove over to my parent. No. I drove over to my parents so that I could, you know, do Christmas. And they said they heard my mixtape because my roommate slash cousin sent them it. Which I didn't know. My mom said she liked uh, Demonetized again. So I, I'll take that as a compliment. Wasn't really sure how to respond to it. Ask for... I get, thanks for the 200. What did I get for Christmas? So here's the thing. A month ago, I told my mom, don't give me any gifts. Just donate the normal amount you would give me on Christmas to charity. And she thought I was choking. So two weeks later, she asked me again, what gifts do you want? And I said again, I wasn't joking. Don't get me gifts, just donate it to a charity. And then like, I gave her the charity I wanted her to donate it to. And then come Christmas day, there's like 15 presents under the tree for me, probably more than my brothers. And I go, I told you to donate to charity. And she said, oh, I did. I, I donated the normal amount. I just didn't want you to have nothing to open. So I did that and got you gifts. And I was... See, at that point, like, I, I can't even be mad. I'm like, you know what? Alright. The bike isn't small. Link is just really canonically large. I have an entire folder of original music, which just never posted. I need to learn how to drift. Didn't have a guy under the cover? I wasn't aware there was a guy under the cover. Not on the sources I checked. Great. Thank you. Uh, sure thing. Thanks so much. Also, so you know, Chiocciola Funke Saturnalia is Roman per the sensor of Christmas. Dani Mesa Medei, Puerto Ruande, des la wood essential, get the day off. Great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I didn't sure know thing. that. Thanks so much. And I probably could have gone my whole life without knowing that. I got Smash Ultimate. I put a lot of my recent hours in the cloud. If only because Cloud is like a good way to familiarize yourself with the sword type characters without over encumbering yourself with abilities. But he's just straight sword play, which is really good for my peanut brain. Also, yeah, I'm aware of the comments, but I am getting stopped this match. It's been a week since I've played video games, so I'll use this as a learning opportunity. It's been like a week since I've streamed either, I guess. This match. All, all of the matches. A real gamer doesn't need a warm-up. I think I've lost my real gamer cred. Like a year ago, I could probably pick up any game and do well, but I don't know. I lost that charm. What do you think of me fighters? I personally think they're good with some buffs. I think they're in their best state they've ever been haircut? in Smash. I still wouldn't like pick them over an actual friend. character, but that's more so just, I don't, I don't know. Cause they feel almost like too basic, but that's their point. I'm not, like, holding that against them. They're definitely 
better than they were previously. Turned out Yoshi. Also, my uh, roommate slash cousin, he's got two little sisters and the Christmas, like the big family thing was held at their house. Both of his sisters got these uh, wireless microphones where you can use, like you, you can use your phone to play songs through it and then sing the song, right? And my cousin grabs one of them and turns on Demonetized Again and starts singing it at full volume in the house at the Christmas party. He tried getting me to sing it, but I politely declined several times. And then his stepmom came into the room 30 seconds later and said, Crank that shit up! No. She asked to, to turn it down. Which I find a little rude. Worked very hard on it. But anyways, that was my Christmas. Yeah, I saw Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, when did I see it? I'd say, or like, I guess a week ago, maybe a little under. And I think it's easily... Uh, competition for, like, my favorite movie of the year. Certainly, like, top five out of the last... I don't want to overdo it and say, like the last decade, but it, it was really good. I think the only real downsides to Spider-Verse were the supporting characters were a little weak and unnecessary, but they didn't, they didn't ruin the movie. I love John Mulani, great comedian, but the pink Spider-Man really mm, contributed minimal. In comedy and in story. Hey, it ain't last. Will you play the long dark later this stream? Great. Thank time? you. Sure thing. No, Thanks so much. I was almost streaming. Did you finish drinking all your eggnog for death, the season? Which is like sort of a long dark game, but I, don't know, I just didn't have the energy for it. So if I do, it's not tonight. Finish all your eggnog? Nah, Can't you I actually got a like haircut? one of the big cartons of it, so I'm probably set till the end of the week on eggnog. But after that, I think I'm gonna have to cut myself off. It's really easy to binge on eggnog, and eggnog has a lot of calories. A lot of egg. Hold up, I'll turn down notifications. His name was Spider Ham to refresh your memory. Well, the fact that I couldn't remember his name kind of tells you a lot about how memorable of a character he was, right? Shit, I'm probably gonna run into walls here. I'm like tabbed out. All right. Setting should be lowered. I'm a geek. It's like our job to inform people of that sort of thing. If anything, Great. it kind of helps. Thank you. Point, you know? sure thing. Thanks so I much. I think if they had replaced Spider Ham with something else, or just even like given him some more useful dialogue, maybe I, I could have like not complained about that. But I guess that was kind of like. The executives telling them they need something to make the kids laugh. The donations are still rad. <sighs> For some reason, great the sounds. Thank are you. Right. Sure thing. Thanks so much. At a perfect level, except for when I stream on the Switch. Only when I stream on the Switch. Despite not even being that quiet. 
Also, Great. I don't really get Thank you. I don't get Great. donations Thanks this so often, much. so... Usually I don't notice it until now. What about the Japanese girl? Uh, same problem. I was a f I like the Nicolas Cage noir Spider-Man. All right, I'm gonna throw this race. I'm I'm turning down the this the bit settings. Or have an option. Fuck, there's so many of them. I have to like change like third. All right, hold on. <laughs> what? I think I got kicked for being AFK for six seconds. All right. Does that count as quitting? Are you ever going to get on DeviantArt to make a Bami Spider-Verse OC? I don't, I don't know that the connection between bombs and spiders are, but as soon as I figure that out... Yeah. Guess I gotta make a new lobby. Enjoy that game, guys. I am not allowed in it. Great. Thank uh, you. Sure thing. Perfect. Thanks so much. Beat test. Also new Mary Poppins movie retreads original more than four Savakens did. Do the animation Still. sequence was real good though. It's shit like this that makes me stop streaming for four days, because after two years of doing it, OBS still finds a way to ignore my setting updates. It is set at fucking 5% now. If it's still too loud, then I'm just turning off donations. I'm getting a, like, an error. It won't let me... I'm just disabling bits and subscriptions. Well, I'll keep subscriptions on. I'm not looking to deal with this. Great. Thank uh, you. Sure thing. Thanks so much. It won't even let me Don't turn it off. Stop me from giving you money. If I remove the, the thing, then I will. I hope. All right. Uh, I don't know if I got any... More requests. Hold on. I can't turn myself up without it starting to peak. The switch is a bitch on your computer. I mean, I, I've honestly just needed to like scrap my fucking computer and replace it for some time because between the uh, the incessant stream problems and the actual computer crashing weekly. Something's up. Thanks, Quack of Dawn. I just turned off notifications entirely, so... It's all gonna be manual from here on out. I'll give people a minute to join. If you so please. I think exclamation mark FC will also post my... friend code, so... You can stop asking for it. I love the Naruto running me in the bottom right. Can we make the race 150 CC? Yeah, I ain't doing anything. 48 races? Nah, four is good. I'm observant of the Black Album. I'm not excited. Though the last Rivers Cuomo song that he put out, I thought was good. I want to learn how to play it so I can make a version with with a rock guitar. Because it's all just like acoustic. Which isn't bad, but like, I don't know. It's missing that grit. Yellow me is freaking me out right now. Thanks, boop. Not for the message, though. Two Broken Hearts is the name of the, the river's song. For some reason, it reminded me of my Eveline from the Blue Album B-Side. It's like a weird acapella track they made. Well, a cover, I guess, technically. 
If only because it name drops the name Eveline. Or Evelyn. Are you gonna try to learn bass? I'm on a bass, but I don't know if I'm really gonna try and learn it. I want to get good at guitar before I try to learn bass. I've been seeing a lot of videos of people in VR chat playing music. And as someone who's very shy about trying to like learn guitar, but I also want to play it in front of people. I feel like a VR game where you could uh, play like play with your actual instruments would be cool. But I know there's like a comedy night game where people just get up on stage and yell obscene racist remarks. So I kind of get the feeling it would end up the same, unfortunately. But I also feel like it would attract musicians and musicians are usually kind of chill. Do a viewer talent show. They would all lose to me. Have you seen what I can do with my tongue? Connor was at our family dinner and I haven't seen him in a while. So he, he hasn't seen me with the long hair. I walked in and sat down on the couch and he got up and walked away saying, you look evil. He wouldn't talk to me for 10 minutes. And when he finally did, I was like, you don't like my hair, dude? That hurts. And he said, I don't like your hair. It just looks really different. And then he like backtracked. He's like, I didn't say I don't like it. But I was done at that point. I still don't know what you look evil means. But I have a suspicion part of it is from what I was wearing. So... Like I said, my mom did end up getting me some stuff for Christmas and one of them... Was a coat I can only compare... Uh, what's that one spy coat in TF2 where it's like... The big button up with the uh, epaulettes, the shoulder things. It looked, it was basically like a 1940s French war vest, but it was super comfortable and it, you know, I liked it, but I realized with both the, uh, the long hair and the tr like borderline trench coat, I kind of looked like a school shooter. And the time I figured that out was when one of my other little cousins wanted to play cops and robbers and they told me to like pretend to shoot them. So I was walking through the house with both my hands up like I'm Reaper with shotguns and I'm going pow, pow, pow. And all of the adults are just giving me weird looks. And I realize I'm at a Christmas dinner in a trench coat with long hair. Pretending to shoot guns. This wasn't my plan for this year. And thankfully, I didn't get kicked out. <laughs> Potential. Why the fuck would someone give you weird looks for playing with kids? No, they were giving me weird looks because I looked like a school shooter. And I was pretending to shoot the kids. Whoops. They didn't care I was playing with them. I was basically babysitting so they didn't have to. Be thankful. I'm not good at this. But I didn't go in the water, and that's what matters. I think going in the water would have actually saved me time. Black two would have got me on faster. Luckily, I didn't get any, like, shirts that said, Sorry, I can't understand you. I only speak sarcasm. I was convinced that until, like... You know, the day I fucking died, all my aunts and uncles would keep getting me those shitty ass shirts. 
This year they just didn't give me anything at all. And you know what? I'll take that. Out of the two, that's easily my preference. There's a subsection of internet on the internet of girls who fantasize about school shooters. Oh, you didn't hear they... Uh, everyone left Tumblr. No one uses it anymore. But it's a good thought, so thank you. I got a shirt as a gift in high school that said, I'm not antisocial, I just don't like you. That sarcasm shirt I just said, I got when I was 20. I was past high school. One of my younger cousins, but not like young, like like the teenage, like the 15 or so, the ones that know about my YouTube channel. One of them came up to me and said, you're in trouble, dude. You haven't uploaded. You're fucking slacking. And I said, uh, I uploaded two weeks ago. And he went, oh, I didn't get a notification. And I said, yeah, you and all my fucking subscribers. He didn't laugh, but I thought it was funny. When's the next Funk TV? Tomorrow. Literally tomorrow. It's like the video's done. So, it's not gonna get delayed. Hank Hill beat me. Damn. I didn't get anything Fortnite related. <laughs> one of my one of my cousins came up and said, "Do you play Fortnite on your channel?" No. Good. And then she walked away. Most I've ever talked to that cousin. My family isn't a part of the notification squad. Do you floss like a boss? Yeah, I floss often. I was flossing the other day and I checked my Discord and people were talking, asking that I floss on stream. And I thought it was really like surreal. Because I had just like was actually flossing. I can't say I've talked to any of my cousins. I mean, I don't either, like in my free time. Most of them were, weren't even old enough to hold a conversation until like the last two years. Is Fortnite a candidate for the next Teeth Gaming episode? It depends on if I can afford rent next month. If I can't, I won't hesitate, but I think I'll be fine. Hopefully it won't come to that. I might be ninth, but I can at least see them on my screen, so I'm not that far behind. Yeah, I'm with viewers. I'll donate for you to not play Fortnite. I mean... You don't have to donate. You don't, like... I'm not going to play it, but you're welcome to donate in hopes that I never play it. Like, just for security. I do explain what anime was to one of my uncles. Actually, you know what? I had it backwards. It's actually worse. I didn't have to explain anime. He was- he, he kept asking like, what do you do for like, on YouTube? Like, what- what would make me want to watch you? And I was trying to use the JoJo video as like an example. I'm like, you know anime? Expecting him to say no, and he went, yeah? Well, I like 
like deconstruct that. He just kind of just got up and walked away. I asked my grandpa who his favorite grandson was, and he said, my oldest brother. <laughs> so I said, what about your second? And he said, the, my, the, the largest grandson he has, like height-wise, which is my other brother. So I said, where am I on your list of grandsons? And he said, you're the smartest of them. Because you make money doing absolutely nothing. That makes you the most intelligent one of all of them. I wasn't- I'm not paraphrasing. That was like word for word what he said. He also said to some of like my aunts and uncles, You know, I didn't like this one before. This one being me. I didn't like this one before. He never talked, but he's a real charmer now. I like this one now. Your family is assholes. They're well-intentioned. Some of them can be assholes, but I think it's in like a funny way. I think it's in like a, why would you ever fucking say that you dumbass kind of way. And in that way, I love them. That's why you're always apathetic and saddened. Family issues. Nah, like it, like, my family relationships, all right. It's amazing how even when I'm keeping up, I still manage to not. I'm fine with Aya staying forever in the Discord and not touching Twitch. I'm okay with it. like to move you hear Weezer's gonna supposedly work with Jank Sinclair again on a future album I haven't heard this what's the source not that I don't believe you it's just from what I've heard about Rivers Cuomo he was really like against how Jink Jake Sinclair ran the White Album. Carl confirmed it. Oh man. It's actually kind of exciting. I feel like if any, what would you call it? Producer? I don't know if I'd call Jake a producer. Uh, I don't know, director? I feel like very few people in the industry know Weezer better than Weezer. But if you had to ask, I'd say Jank Sinclair does. The dude knows how to evolve Weezer's sound without making it feel like they're just rehashing themselves. I feel like Rivers Cuomo's problem is he's like, Fuck, Weezer doesn't have a sound. We don't have a sound. We're like gorillas. We change our sound every year. When in reality, is that a fucking Peter Griffin mean? Me. In reality, there is a known Weezer sound, but that doesn't mean they like they can't evolve it to be better. Instead of trying to evolve a like a a sound, he just throws shit at the wall, and there's nothing wrong with that. But evidently, it has not paid off.
Is Pinkerton the Weezer sound? I'd say blue is the Weezer sound. Pinkerton is the Weezer mood. You know what I mean? Favorite class in D&D? &D. I've never played a real D&D &D campaign, but I've always had a soft spot for bards. Bards and rangers. Funk, gay, or straight? Uh, probably funk. He said, am I funk, gay, or straight? And I said, I'm funk. What's so confusing? my name. What even is the break? I think I've been using it right. I've just been holding the gas too much. No break, only drift. That explains why I'm losing. I need a break. never been this high before. Well, there was that one time, but we don't talk about that. I'm proud. I have a lot of other Switch games. My audio interface is sitting on, like, all of my physical copies. Breath of the Wild, Splat 2, Tennis Aces, Odyssey, and obviously uh, Mario Kart 8. I picked up Katamari Damacy for the Switch. I liked it, but I accidentally closed out of it and didn't save. Obviously, uh, Smash, I have digital. I have Marble It Up, which I'm waiting for DLC, but sadly there hasn't been any yet. You got Pokemon Quest on it too, but that's kind of a one and done kind of game. Play Splat with me. I contemplated playing it today, but it's just like kind of dead. Do you say swears? Yeah. When I was younger, I would never say it around family, but now that they know about my channel, I kind of, well, without thinking, just drop fucking shit at family gatherings. No one's called me out for it. I'm sure they will next year. I don't have a main in Smash. I've been trying to learn how to play Cloud. Cloud and Inkling. But I wouldn't say I'm mad main material.
I'm pretty sure the aunt that was supposed to get me a gift in my mom's family gathering that didn't, like, forgot it, doesn't even know who I am. Because at the event, she was going up to all of, like, the nieces and nephews and saying, Hi, how are you? And she came up to me in the middle of, a like, a packed room and went, I don't know what she said. I couldn't, it was, like, muffled. So I, I look at her and say, what was that? She gave me a thumbs up and walked away. And then like an hour later, I was told that she didn't give me anything. Which again, it's not that like, I, I'm, I'm mad I didn't get anything. It's just, it almost seems like, in, like you're intentionally I'm getting, I'm getting excommunicated from my own family. Maybe that's for the best. You know about the Pataru meme. Also, how are your holidays? Pataru? I don't know what that is. My holiday was a holiday. I'm not really a holiday person. At least not for Christmas. But about as good it could be. Is that like the girl? And the Santa hat. Is that what that is? Yeah, I don't know any of the context of that, but I know what it is. I'm keeping up with Golden Wind. It's interesting how they're like, kind of adding in some of the OVA stuff. Rather than just going straight manga. I don't mind. me cracking my knuckles by the way we're making us wait so fucking long for the next season of funk Raft. make the next season a space mod pack i've done mod packs before the issue is way less people are able to some not willing to play on the mod pack which means a season with like 20 plus players becomes a season of three to six. And it's not like I'm so hands-on with the seasons that's really worth it for me anyways. I'm not against another mod pack. We've thrown around the idea. But... It's difficult to find that balance of changing the season up but not alienating, you know, half of the subs. Did you sing Christmas carols? No. But my cousin played uh, demonetized again in the house during the party, so... Kinda, kind of... His little sister was like, why did you make this? So I explained, oh yeah, I did like a charity stream and one of the, the goals was a mixtape. And she goes, how much did you raise? And I'm like, it's like $500. And she just goes, oh, PewDiePie raised more. And then walked away. And I felt a little hurt. I don't feel like that's a fair comparison, but I'm not going to argue with it. I can tell you after that, I want to fucking subscribe to T-Series, just a spider. How old is she? I don't know, like... 10-ish? Definitely too young to be watching PewDiePie.
Just raise more, idiot. Bar cord. Bar cord. For the record, my parents had me, like, me and my brothers, like, like, 10 years before the other uh, cousins started being born. So, aside from my roommate, there's literally, like, nobody to talk to. Why the heck aren't you racing as Waluigi? Overplayed. You have us. Do you think you're better than... Child cousins? For conversation? I feel like there's the same amount of value. Sorry, I couldn't donate 10 billion for your charity. Yeah, well, maybe you should think next time. Shrek 5 trailer? Mm, no? Did that- that didn't happen, right? I hope that did happen. Probably never, Zoltan, but... I'll happily keep you in the dark about it, if you'd prefer. Feels like everyone in my family is a lot younger or older. Yeah, that's kind of the ultimate dilemma. It's like you're not old enough that the adults will really converse with you. Or even if they do, there's nothing like to talk about. But you don't have any cousins like your age to talk to either. So at best, you're going to be like bullying kids at, at the get together for fun. I probably spent, like, at least a quarter of the, uh, what was it, the Christmas gathering trying to teach Connor how to, like, do that magic trick where you pull your thumb off. He kind of learned, but he's, he's, I don't, I don't think he gets it. This is, this sucks. Stop bullying. I told him it's the ultimate conversation maker. Anyone will be your friend if you do that. And that's a fact. If you're antisocial and, and incapable of starting a conversation, just learn how to pull your thumb off for the magic trick. Literally anyone will talk to you if you start a conversation with that. I'm confident because I know how to do it. Would I lie to you? Twice? Whoops. Do you think DK had to take driving lessons or... Did he just, like, steal this, and this is his first time driving? It's never really explained how they learned how to drive. When I play, it's definitely his first time. Terraria Funkcraft has been heavily considered. It's more about just setting it up than it is the idea. I did it! I beat the race. I passed the finish line on the third lap. And that's all that matters. I used the drift button, I'm just clearly not using it well. 
second place. Well, second from last. That's almost that's that's one of the seconds. Don't use tilt controls. It's a bad idea. Team game. Frantic items. All vehicles. I've thought about a creative based bunk raft, but I feel like it I need like an overall goal. It couldn't just be like a creative server. I mean I it could, but I don't know. I'd have to think on it more, you know. It'll be a Fortnite season. And it'll be two weeks from now. I mean, I know that was a joke, but the next Funkraft will probably be like two weeks. Sometime early January. Painful to watch. I'm gonna give you a dollar and leave. Hashtag charity. No complaints here. The less people seeing this, the better. It's season seven we're going into. A Funcraft. I don't know what the bread challenge is. Is this your first time playing Mario Kart? Yes. Yes, it is. Creative tournament with themes. Ooh. Eh? Have to rely on you people to know how to build, though. And if it's anything like how you people draw when we do TKO... No offense, but... Maybe leave it to the... YouTubers. Not staying long, I'm sick, but I wanted to update this and say I hope you had a nice Christmas. Joke's on you, I had to turn off sub notifications because they were really loud. But thank you anyways. And yeah. It was enjoyable. Start any Animal Crossing at this start of year before Switch installment? I've been wanting to watch you play. There's really no way for me to do the 3DS ones. Aside from maybe, like, emulation, but there's not even really... I don't even know if Simu has New Leaf. I'm definitely playing the Switch one once it comes out. But for anything before then... I mean, I won't hesitate, but I still need to get it set up. But assuming I can, yeah, that'll be, like, that'll be January. Which sounds long, but, you know, we're, like, four days away, so. I don't know how many of you saw, but the... The front man of Weezer, Rivers Cuomo, made a an app. It wasn't a it wasn't a game with microtransactions. That would I, that's what I was hoping it was, but he made an app for scheduling tours. Like if you're in a band and you're trying to schedule a world tour, but you're having trouble keeping daily track. It's like a really specific margin of consumers. But well, you know what? I'm proud of him. His his C plus plus lessons paid off. Rainbow Road. Why the fuck you not drip? I'm hitting the button on every corner. It's just I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This stream brought to you by Tilt Control Gang.
You gotta hold the button? I am. That's why I said I... I guess I said I hit, but I mean, I hold. And now the game is played. I'm just not doing it right. such a tricky balance of gas and drift. Fuck. Fuck. Later, Waluigi. <laughs> Ninth place, not bad. What did you get for Christmas? I got a World War II French coat. I got Korra Comic 3, which fucking sucked, by the way. Don't even get me started. Uh, I got windshield wipers, which I needed. And that's about it. But I asked to get nothing, so... Kinda, like, overkill for me. No baguettes. Oh yeah, and I got a, uh... My, old, my oldest brother got me a... Booklet... Of the entirety of Pinkerton's sheet music. Which I thought was cool. Cause I didn't even know they made that. Dude knows me too well. My other brother got me an anime poster. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't anime. It was a, sc a scroll anime poster, but it was a, a Zelda poster. I think Hyrule Warriors. Don't you hate when your cat wakes you up like this? Meow, 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 meow. Honestly, I was kind of like missing my, my, my animals. So when I visited my parents, I sat on the couch. Both my dogs and my cat basically just sat on me. I was suffocating, but... It was worth it. How much nog was consumed? My parents had... Half of a... Carton. That they kept specifically for me, because they know... I would want it. I had that much. And then I came home and drank like three cups, but it's not relevant. So I'm roommates with my cousin, it's more or less a, a lifelong friend. But that also means like for family gathering stuff like this, you know, we can like carpool. So he messages me, he, he calls me before like our family gathering and he's like, Hey man, you want a carpool? I'll be home in like 30 minutes. And I'm like, yeah, right on. I don't have to, you know, I can save some gas. If I want to get like a, like a drink there, I can. So 30 minutes pass. And he calls me and he goes, yeah, so I just went autopilot, drove all the way there. You're going to have to drive on your own. And I go, you drove all the way there without realizing it. And then called me after you arrived. You didn't even call me during the drive. And he's like, yeah, I'm oh, sorry, I was on the phone with my, my grandma. It's 
so I drove there and beat his ass. Kidding. Opinion on Gorilla's watches? I like the animations they made for it, but I don't really care about the sponsorship. I think the main problem is I'm just holding on to the drive, so my drift does nothing. Nah, no smash later. I've been extremely exasperated from the holidays, and I've just been trying to, uh, spend the day, like, finalizing the video. So, I just wanted to play some wacky Looney Tunes races for a bit, but uh, I'll probably stream tomorrow sometime later in the afternoon, and there may be Smash then. Ever been in a real fight? If, if you count all of the physical bullying my older brother did when we grew up, yes. If you don't count that, which I honestly, I wouldn't. It's not really a fight if he's just slapping me. Nah, when I was in middle school, I almost got in a really big fight, but it like got elevated so big that the principal got involved and they shut it down. And honestly, I was hoping for that because I, 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 I was going to get my ass fucking walloped. I never even, I never even like instituted the fight in the first place. That was just my dumbass friend. He's like, yeah, fuck you, we'll, we'll kick your ass, both me and Justin. And I'm just sitting there. Never, I never even talked in school already. So for him to be saying that, I'm like, fuck you. Luckily, the principal shut that shit down. And everyone involved was pussies anyway, so... I guarantee you, everyone involved didn't want to actually fight. But the way they talk, you'd think they were. Otherwise, nah. I'm a pretty diplomatic dude. If I disagree with someone, I'm gonna... They're gonna catch this brain. Brain first, hands later. You know what I mean? Slap him with my... Four digit IQ. I <laughs> make a ten minute video exposing them. Oh, tell me that hits. Oh, that would have been great. What an oddly random game. I'm sorry, do I need a, a reason? Can I not play as my favorite Kong? In MK8? No, for some reason... Twitch won't allow you to put MK in the name of your stream. I learned that trying to name it MK8. But I don't know why. MK is not really associated with anything bad except for maybe MK Ultra. Which even then, like... In what context can you ever use MK Ultra as an insult? I'm gonna s slap your ass so hard your brain's gonna be like one of the participants of MK Ultra. It doesn't work. You couldn't fit that into a title. Oh, it's it stands for monkey cock but with a K. That that's it. Really though, I have no clue why. I think you used to be able to. It's probably right around the time they updated all of their things cuz you can't even say redneck anymore. 
As a redneck, I, I take offense to that. They're not letting me use my word. They're appropriating my culture. That's why I haven't played Immortal Redneck. Massive coochie. Still, still not a K, but I get what you're putting down. Ever had a sexual encounter with a bottlenose dolphin? Listen, she's got a long nose, but I wouldn't say that about your mother. Someone get Donkey Kong a Kleenex. He's been sneezing every time the race ends. Ever more it's more like ever had a sexual encounter. Hey, when I hit 74 magic in RuneScape, I had my first ejaculation. That's a sexual encounter. So why are you trying to badmouth me? Stan me. <laughs> Stan me and Hank Hill on separate teams. That'll even it out. Later, Cobalt. I made a new me to more represent my lack of facial hair uh, and longer hair. But to be honest, it just looks like a generic weeaboo me. So, I haven't updated it yet. MK is apparently an Asian insult. Well, shit, I didn't know that. I don't I don't really use MK in my general vocabulary as it is, but... T-I-L. Like, I still don't know what it means, but... But I'll take your word for it. Isn't like one of the biggest scenes for Twitch like 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 Japanese league streams and Korean Dota? I guess Fortnite is kind of the top dog now that I think about it. But I digress. All it takes is one shitty drift to drop down to ninth. Dota's a thing in Korea. Dota's a, well, Korea gets their their hands on everything. But I, truthfully, I don't know how big of a scene it is. No one plays Dota in Korea. I don't blame them. Hey, can someone in chat me do, do me a favor? I haven't checked the Steam stats for Artifact in like one or two weeks, but I'm kind of curious. I want to hedge bets in chat. How many active concurrent players right now? I'm gonna say 4,900. I need someone to get the actual answer.
I'm playing it right now. Uh, I'd like to change my answer to 4901. Currently 4642. All right, that was close. Within within a few hundred. I mean, that's really sad, but I'm pretty happy about my guess. If I wanted to cut this many corners, I would just start making Fortnite content. I'm sorry. Got a little agitated there. Did I even get two cor- two- Two course clears? I don't think so. What country would you like to visit? Probably New Zealand or or Italy Venice, maybe I'd say any place with like big planes I Just have like a thing for like big grassy planes, and I don't know why like this kind of look Hyrule Kingdom something European maybe Denmark Yeah Yeah, like fields. An airport? I guess technically. Maybe I should turn it off team battle. Turn off team battle after this. these races conclude. Nowhere flatter than Holland. I would only visit... You know what? Never mind. I was gonna make a Neutral Milk Hotel reference, but then I realized that's a reference to the Holocaust, so... Visiting that's probably not a good idea. best track in, in the Nintendo library. Yet this 24 hour peak is almost as high as Artifact's all time high. That says a lot. It's a real society we're in right now. Sounds so sad, and watching you completely fail to do anything other than hold the accelerator is killing me. I don't have a response to that. I just have to beat Toasty. That's all I need. I beat Toasty. I mean, he like stopped so that I could get past him, but I'm gonna count it. You still need to be holding a direction on the stick when you start drifting. If I wasn't, that's subconscious. Worth buying a Switch just for Smash? And what are alternatives? Alternative games or consoles? Because I don't think it would be worth buying a Switch just for Smash. I think it's worth buying a Switch for a collection of games. I think Smash plus any other big title would easily net you your money's worth. Like Smash plus Odyssey or plus Breath of the Wild. Or plus the whatever the next Pokemon game is. But if you're just getting it for Smash, like... You know, just wait till you have another... $60, you know? Yeah. 
Thanks, Sandwich. I had to try and use some Switch emulators for my modding video. Yeah, they're... The shit! They don't really hold up well. I mean, I would never emulate a Nintendo console. Don't sue me for $12 million. But from what I've heard, they don't run very well. I mean, the fact that there's even an emulator for Switch on its own is kind of impressive, in my opinion. For a lot of consoles, it took, like, years before you even had a semblance, and... People already have, like, it playable. It's just not very... ...effective. But it's there. Give it a year. a jam right here. December is the number one song on Maladroit. Love Explosion, second. Worst? I don't know. Whatever is like dead in the middle of, of the album. I don't remember. Anything that's like the middle th two or three. The start of the album's cool and the end is cool. Ban Burnt Jam is high tier too. Burnt Jam's in the middle? Okay, that's an exception. Switch games have a weird DRM in the shaders that's not able to be emulated. Probably won't run 3D games in like five years. Yeah, that's Nintendo for you. Can't enjoy it, but can't complain. Slave is underrated. I disagree. That's like the only Maladroit song they'll ever fucking play at SOS, and it makes me mad. They only play Slave. They won't play American Gigolo. They won't play Love Explosion. I don't even play Burnt Jam. Just Slave and maybe sometimes Slob. We may not be able to emulate Odyssey or Breath of the Wild, but if it makes you feel better, I'm like at least 60% convinced that they're just going to make sequels to those games. It would certainly explain why they haven't really been making DLC that adds any new content besides small things. My crackpot conspiracy theory is we're going to get a Odyssey 2 and maybe like, maybe not like a Breath of the Wild 2, but something on like the same engine. Or the same like idea. But that's just a theory. Is Breath of the Wild DLC worth it? I haven't played the DLC. I know it adds the bike, some clothes, and I think maybe it's like some new shrines or whatever. But I don't think it, it's like comparable to like a like a Skyrim DLC. It's relatively 
contain, you know? Fourth place, excuse me? This is new. Well, fifth place. It's almost fourth. One below. If it's your own CD, it's a gray area. No, legally speaking, I know this because when I made my mod video, I was reading all of Nintendo's rundown. And according to them, just because you own the game, it, it does not mean it's legal to to emulate or mod or to 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 make like a ROM or an ISO, even on your own. You're not allowed to uh, manipulate the hardware, I guess. So it's a myth that it's legal to emulate if you own the game. Which, I mean, I get why people say it, because it's sort of like, well, I already bought it, so I'm allowed to use the software how I want, but technically that's not how it works. Do 100cc. No frantic. Uh, hold up. Exclamation mark FC if anyone's like, Wanting to get added in. Why is it illegal to emulate? Because you're taking hardware and software other people made and redistributing it. Sometimes for money, sometimes for free, but never towards profiting the original creator of it. I'm a full advocate for emulation. I think... If you're a smart developer, you will find ways to that people won't bother or you'll find ways to make money despite. But legally speaking, yeah, emulation is more or less piracy. It's not illegal to emulate, it's ROM acquisition. Yeah, most people don't get in trouble for like creating an emulator they get in trouble for hosting rom sites sites where you can download a bunch of games for free essentially it's not the emulation itself that's really the issue all right i'm gonna give people a minute if anyone wants to join i think we got a couple spots open but i mean the only real people in the industry that care so much about emulation are Nintendo. Like, a lot of developers obviously don't want it, but you know, Nintendo are kind of the only ones that are really putting up this level of fight for it. I mean, have you seen some of the lawsuits? They take it very seriously. No one would emulate if Nintendo games were on PC, but that'll never happen. No, people would still emulate. People still pirate PC games. The it's just like I don't know. Nintendo's all Nintendo has to do is make them available on virtual consoles. The reason people emulate isn't because it's not on PC. It's because the only way they can play some of these games is by like buying a, a 3DS or a Game Boy or a Wii U. Hey, hey guys, you guys want to play a? Super Mario Sunshine? Go fuck yourself! That's kind of like, that's the problem. The problem isn't that it's not on PC. The problem is that you can't really get anywhere. Except, like, the console it came out on. Which is stupid because people have mastered emulation, so logically it's not that difficult for Nintendo to re-release their game, but... I don't know. The, the, I think the main reason they avoid doing that is because, like, shit like the NES Classic. The NES Classic sold well. So you know what that means? You're not gonna get a virtual console for Switch. They're going to fucking make a GameCube Classic. Play all your favorite GameCube games on a tiny package. What? You just wanna f buy a single game? Nope, you buy the whole thing.
bet you if the NES Classic had bombed, we would have a GameCube emulator or a GameCube Virtual Console. But that's just a theory. Okay, but I would buy a GameCube Classic. And you're part of the problem, Alex. Though I don't blame you, because I probably would too. But that's because I don't really have any other options. But, like, the, you, you see my point, right? Why re-release your games in DaVinci? 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 When you can sell people a console and the one game that you, they want to play. Because at that point, it's sunken cost fallacy. Well, fuck, I only got this to play Sunshine, but I guess I'll... I'll pick up Wind Waker and... Uh, I don't know, Kirby Air Ride, because I'm already here. I already got the console. Nintendo is this they make games for the consumer, but they make hardware for money You know what I mean? People think Nintendo is one of like the most consumer centric companies I don't think that's a common opinion, but some people have the wrong idea. It's not true. Keep in mind, this is a generalized statement, but I mean more so like in the long run than I do individual consoles. They definitely try when they make a console, unless it's the Wii U. If I'm correct, I believe the like the prototype for a Wii U tab tablet was literally like an iPad with. Two Wiimotes taped to the side. We'll try it on that one. We had at least two games. Maybe you could press R? R? There's an R? On the Joy-Con? Fuck. It was my big lead. Compared to companies like Bethesda, they're quite consumer oriented. In the short term, I absolutely agree. They are very much, they make games that people will buy because they're good games, not because they're Nintendo games. The problem is five years down the line, when you're like, hey, I missed out, but I still want to play this. You can't just it's like, I have a Switch, but I never got to play GameCube games. You're just SOL. When it's completely in their capabilities to, to make it happen. That is a willingness to make it harder for consumers. For the sake of, well, we can make more money re-releasing it. As like a classic package. Nintendo's done nothing but release map packs for Mario and Zelda for the last two decades. Are you excluding, like, the games themselves? Because I think the Switch, Mario, and Zelda games are the best ones they've ever made for both franchises, frankly. Certainly up there. The problem is, in the long term, they make, you know, one really good game, and then that's all you get. You get one really good game. And then they kind of just hope you'll... You'll buy like the shitty small packs that they throw on. I mean, why make DLC when you can just make a second game with the same engine? And I wouldn't even complain. I wouldn't complain if we got an Odyssey 2. And it had like a, the same amount of content. I would, like, I would easily play Odyssey twice. So to have, like, you know, the, uh, another game's worth of content of the same game, I wouldn't mind. But I don't even think we know that's confirmed. That's just, like, the guess.
I, I forgot how to drift, guys. This is not a just chatting stream. I'm not watching every YouTube video. Mini turbo tutorial. <laughs> what do you think about community game parodies? The uranium version of Pokemon was popular, but it got shut down. Is that still piracy? Legally, yes. It's not necessarily piracy, but it's infringing on a copyright. If you make a spin, like your own Pokemon game, you are infringing on Nintendo's IP. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. You look at a company like Valve, and they outsource their IPs pretty, f you know, fr frequently. They haven't made, like, Half-Life in years, but they let people make Black Mesa. They haven't made Portal in years, but they let them make Portal Stories Mel. They let- they outsource their- their games. Or their IPs. They, they let people make money off of it. Nintendo's policy is very opposite of that. Their idea is, well, shit, that's ours. We don't want people seeing that and thinking it's ours. We didn't make it. What if it's not good? Or what if it's so good that, you know, people play it instead of buying our games? It's a flawed, archaic mindset that Nintendo holds because half of the company still thinks they're fucking selling trading cards. Like Bethesda in the fan game made by Obsidian. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. I mean, my hope is like within the next decade, Nintendo adjusts their policy. They recently changed their policy on content. Before, if you made content on Nintendo, even if it fell under fair use and it was for review, they would copyright strike it unless you were part of their creators club, which was still fucking stupid. And I don't even, you know, think legal, but no one really is going to argue with them. But they changed that recently, so I think in an ideal world, Nintendo is on course to slowly update their outdated policies, and hopefully one of those will include fan-made content. I think if Nintendo fully accepted that people are going to make fan-made content, we would be in a renaissance of Nintendo content. Imagine like a Steam Workshop, but for Super Mario Odyssey Worlds, for Kingdoms. Are you telling me you wouldn't drop money on that? Like, I'm against microtransactions, and you're telling me you you wouldn't... You wouldn't at least be interested? Oh, it's not gonna be anytime soon. That's not within the decade. I'm just saying it's my hopes within the next, like, like my lifetime, I guess. That we, we see them go in that direction. That is considered DLC, but that's my point. I'm not a big DLC guy, and I think that would be a cool idea. Don't make Mario ROMs. Here's Mario Maker, though. Also, it has limited customizability, and you're gonna run out of stuff to do other than stand still Mario Maker maps after 20 hours of gameplay. You know how that's fixed? Having a Super Mario Maker workshop where people can make their own... Uh, like, texture packs and... And I don't know. Items. No smash tonight, nah. You're tilting my controls right now. That already exists. Yeah, but it's not legal. In Nintendo's eyes. I mean, I'm not gonna tell on anyone, but I'm just saying.
Super Smash Bros. skin workshop. How about that? I think that's pushing it. I think Smash is fine with just having a skins pre-designated by Nintendo. I'm talking about game content, about maps and items. Just play Mujin. You can play as the heavy weapons guy. Or Waluigi. If, if you're into that. Steam Workshop hasn't worked in its goal of keeping the majority of mods in one place controlled by the distributor of the game. Is that its goal? I mean, its goal was more so just to provide a way for players to make con for, for to make content. It wasn't necessarily to monopolize mod content. They didn't make the Steam Workshop saying, "This is like this is all. This is the only place." You can make mods. That was never the goal. I, th I would say it successfully has bridged the gap between creator and community for a lot of games. I think there are a lot of games out there that wouldn't have community content if not for the workshop. Yeah, I'm thinking the game is down, but I wasn't sure what happened. All right, try again. There's an all night heavy outfit in the TF2 workshop. I not familiar with that. Mario Kart! Hey! I'll do it. I'll do it just the, just for for this one. You guys have been patient. All right, lobby's open. Uh, I think this will be the last one. I want to get off after this so I can make sure the video is fully set up to go tomorrow cuz I'll probably end up sleeping until 2 or 3 p.m. <laughs> so I have to make sure it's ready tonight. Did I set it to... What options do we have? I was contemplating 200, but I think that's a bit much. Let's go with mirror. Maybe if I can't do better, then I'll gimp everyone else. You know what I mean? So you release early in sub club? Yeah. Drop it early. Can we see what the video's about? Sure, hold on. Let me get you a, a photo of it. Oh, wait. All right, here's a photo from the, the next video. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong image. It's not TF2, but it is Funk TV. That's your hint. It's about Smash. No, but that would be a good, I, I should have made it about Smash. There's a single clip of Smash in it, so I might still get 2 million views, but no. This is the one I said is technically about anime, but not necessarily, but it, for all purposes, it is. It's technically about fighting games. Again, technically. Oh, yeah, that was Fighter Z.
around what time. Mm. If everything's ready to go, I don't know. Lunchtime ET. Maybe a little past, like. Probably like 2 p.m. Like, it might be ready before that, but give myself some leeway. I don't really like stress too much about peak hours. I just want to make sure it's set. The only thing that's important is it comes out before next year. So I can say I made five videos this year instead of four. Technically seven if you count the Twitch announcements. But, I wouldn't. A friend request was so important it muted all of my sound for half a second. Hold two Twitch announcements. Yeah, but those were high-quality announcements. What about Fatunk? That's not really a part of the equation here. If you count Fatunk, then... You know, I probably uploaded more than... I, I ever did on my main channel. I think Fatunk, like, just passed Funk in uh, videos uploaded. Like, the main channel is 125, and I think Fatunk is 128 now. That means it's officially my main channel. Favorite White Album song is LA Girls. Followed by King of the World. Basic bitch choices, but I stand by them. Friend of a friend doesn't count. You have to enunciate the tune in Fatunk. Fatunk! Like it's an anvil hitting the floor. Fatunk. Fake smile doesn't count either. Those aren't even B-sides. They're like... Well, I guess they are B-sides. They're like... I'm only talking core album. Why was mixtape on Fatunk and on the main channel? I... I've seen what happens after Dane uploads a mixtape. All your comments are... Make another. And I'm fine with make another comments, but keep it on Fatunk, you know? Also, just cause like, I don't know. A lot of them were just like pre-use instrumentals. It didn't feel like main channel content for me. It felt like, like a high quality shit post, which is what Fatunk is for. Compare my channel to a falling anvil. You would have made it. I didn't need you, Lakitu, but, but all right. Too far. Make more teams fortress. Just exasperated it. There's really not much more to do in Sims without getting more DLC. And with what DLC I have, I don't want to get any more. Every time. 
Minecraft Let's Play on the main. You know, if I wasn't trying to set precedence for some better content, I wouldn't hesitate. I think I just cheated my way out of sixth. We got three Waluigi's in this. More Funkaversal. I think Funkaversal would be fun, but... I don't know, I just... Kind of lost track of it. Make next Minecraft season recreate Shadow of Israfel. I just have to get the rights. I'll, I'll, I'll make a fan fiction ending to it. Never even played Lethal League. I know of it. Yeah, I'm aware everyone's dead on the Minecraft server. The season is more or less over. I mean, it is for all purposes. It just stays up in between. I'm, I'm not. I wasn't waiting for everyone to to die. I'm waiting for when I want to start the next one. fine. Oh. Didn't know that. I don't even have a semblance of what this map is supposed to be. What is this from? This reminds me of the casino level from Sonic Adventure. The one that had like the weird... Dream Night or whatever it's called. A disco. It's informative. It's just dance. Truly, this is the smash of driving games. Super Dash Brothers, you could even call it. Played Revolt, the RC racing game? That rings a bell, but I don't... No. If I did, it's a repressed memory. If I haven't, I've at least heard of it. I just have to beat Peach. Too late. Epilepsy warning. What do you think of the Sonic poster? I think whether it's awful or amazing, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what comes of it. <laughs> the smaller the driver, the faster the speed. Do you not see the full reveal? Are you referring to the one that has Chris Pratt in it? If so, I saw that. That looked more acceptable than the other poster, uh, but still kind of 
What are you doing? Using this resub to remind you to accept my subtitle submission for the mixtape. That's my bad. Get on that after the stream. The one in the car? Nah, news to me. It's not confirmed, final look. Good. Do you feel like playing Lakitu is subject to nepotism in this game? Like, what if you fall off the map and your Lakitu brother just takes you to the end? Like, I, that can't be legal. Or is that racist to say that all Lakitu's are related? Am I playing as the Lakitu or... Like, what are the rules? I'm gonna pass on Team Sonic Racing. Thank you. Not looking good, fellas. I, I passed the line. Remember when Nintendo said they'd have special deals if you have online? Remember when Nintendo did anything? I don't. Guys, top five! I did it! Whew. It's better than last time. I wasn't even top five. Hell yeah. Almost beat Starchy. I mean, not almost, but like enough. You know what I mean? Top five. I can leave a, a winner tonight. Good games. All right, I'm gonna call it there. I know it's a short one, but if I'm gonna stick to my promise of video tomorrow, I'm gonna need the the uh, additional time. But thank you again to anyone that that uh, played. Sorry, the streams have been more scattered. I don't know. I've just been like really drained of energy, and it's there haven't been like video games that I could play without feeling like. I had to do a commitment, but now that the holiday season is more or less over, minus I guess like New Year's, but I wouldn't really count that. But now like the now the holidays that you have to prepare for are over. And then the new year is starting. I should be able to get back into a a regular routine with streaming. Uh but uh for like the rest of the week it's gonna be a bit scattered. Like, the video will drop tomorrow. I might stream, depending on uh, if I have anything in mind. Uh, I'll definitely stream, like... I won't be streaming Friday. Like, I promised my mom I'd go see a movie. But Saturday, I'll definitely be streaming. And uh, everything past that, I'll have a schedule up ahead of time. I can still hear you jumping in-game, by the way. What movie? I can't remember the name. It's the one with Steve Carell in it. Where he, like, loses his memories. I don't know. My mom wanted to see it. And I figured, what better Christmas gift than to... It's just say yes. I have no idea. Well, I don't know the name either. But I like Steve Carell, so... that It's enough for me to, to see it. Yeah, I'm gonna stream every single Final Fantasy game. You're right. Marwin. Oh, that may be it. Better stream Smash. I'll stream Smash. If I'm gonna stream before Saturday, it'll it'll probably be Smash. But uh yeah, that's it. Uh I'll see you. If I stream tomorrow, it'll be probably earlier. Earlier in the day, like 
like lunches e et but uh otherwise i'll be doing this bye